The club has four weeks to respond to the league's forceful suggestion that it should relocate to the Gold Coast. The Roos have been in the wars. The possible permanent move to the Gold Coast dominates. Tomorrow the club hierarchy meets the AFL. A bayonet could come in handy, but might not match the league's firepower. As far as I'm concerned, I love the same stay in Melbourne. So I've got 138 years of history and I think it's worth fighting for. If they're going to make their headway here, they have to be called the Gold Coast Kangaroos. The AFL is going to the Gold Coast. You want to write there are deadlines and there are things we're forcing them, that is completely unfair. Their net revenue is the AFL providing seven dollars in every ten. If their choice of training location was anything to go by chances of staying in Melbourne are not looking good. supporters are angrily rejecting the AFL's push for the club to relocate to the Gold Coast. The league today knocked back the Roos' request for a 12-month delay on a decision. It's North Melbourne I support. I'm not interested in the Gold Coast. Any Gold Coast side. My family's been associated with North Melbourne for over 100 years and uh, I tell you they've lost me if they go north. We're here, we're here to stay. You'll never get rid of us. As expected, Ian, it's an emotion charge night here at Dallas Brooks Hall. The Kangaroos fans have shown up in their thousands and, of course, not at all shy on how they feel about the relocation issue. Today the board voted to reject the AFL's offer. The board today rejected the AFL's $100 million bid and it just created another tumultuous day in the history of this great hey! Melbourne club. Last night, Kangaroos fans seemed certain the club had made the right call. Very, very happy. Couldn't be happier. Stuff the AFL as far as I'm concerned. It was down to business today for the new chairman of the now renamed North Melbourne Football Club, with the news that their two-time premiership coach, Dennis Pagan, will be joining the new board. It's great to have him back at his home. You know, he's an enormous North Melbourne presence, and he'll be a terrific director, so I'm really pleased that Dennis has uh, agreed to be a part of it.